Hello everyone, this is Daryl. We're here today working on the 89 F-150. And this is Doug's winter truck. And 4x4, um, is this a 5.0? Yes. Uh, 5.0 V8. And it's got factory AC with the, with the XLT package. So it's got the nice deluxe dashboard with the um, AC control. And this model, the AC is vacuum controlled. The slider level on top for the heat is a cable connector that manually opens a temperature valve. But for the bottom side, there's a vacuum valve hooked to the back of the switch that deflects the air pressure back and forth to move the little piston cylinder underneath to the proper position. And if there's a problem in the system, a vacuum leak or some sort of problem with the switch, the default position for safety is that it automatically switches the heat flow upward to the windshield to the defrost position so that you can keep your windshield, windshield cleared off in the winter time or keep the fog off your windshield. So that's pretty much the standard thing with all cars. It's a safety default. If the system fails, the air automatically starts going up to the windshield for defrost mode. And since this one's vacuum controlled, the first thing I did was we pulled the wire off the bottom, off the little solenoid cylinder there, and we checked for vacuum pressure on it. We moved the temperature position sensor to floorboard and we checked for vacuum pressure there. There was no vacuum pressure. So that made me decide that the problem had to be either in the control head vacuum switch, but most likely the problem is going to be underneath the hood because that's where it gets its vacuum from. And that's the most likely place for something to happen to one of the hoses where it's going to lose vacuum pressure. So we came over here and we looked at the vacuum cylinder can here, which really, I think that's more of an emission thing. It doesn't affect the heater control but over here on the firewall right by the uh, blend mechanism here you have this three-way vacuum switch vacuum connector I should say and you can see one of the hoses goes over by the blower the other hose goes up to the main part of the heater air conditioning box and the third part of the hose goes over here to the intake manifold and this is where the engine generates all of your vacuum supply line to control all these things well this hose here was broken off from the rubber boot connector. I took a little drill and I drilled out the old part of the hose inside and I stuck it back in. It still feels like it might be leaking a little bit around here, but we're going to go to the scrapyard and we're going to get a new hose that just slides off here and slides off here. We'll replace that whole hose with a little bit longer one and one that hopefully it's not brittle. And uh, we've already checked it and it solved our problem. The heat control is working back to the floor, middle and top now. So there you go. That's what you look for when you have a problem with your vacuum controlled heat defrost cycles in these Ford products. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. You can fix this yourself.